G'day all. I thought I'd take a moment to update everybody on where the Parliament inquiry into the fire services reform is up to. As many of you know, the committee's been holding hearings right around the state, speaking with our people and a number of different stakeholders. As well as this, hundreds of submissions have been made to the inquiry from CFA people, our volunteers and career firefighters, our MFB colleagues and of course from the general public. Let me just say thank you. Thank you to everybody who's taken part in the process. You've been respectful, constructive and as always, CFA people have been very passionate. Your contribution to this process is always vitally important. As some of you may know, it was my turn to speak with the committee yesterday and I really valued the opportunity to give my thoughts as the Chief Officer. And my fundamental priority has always been and continues to be ensuring we continue to provide a quality service to the community, supporting our people and to continue to improve and grow into the future. My fundamental argument is for an independent and autonomous CFA with control over our own destiny. I raise my concerns with the committee around issues to do with implementation and also around some of the bluing that has been going on, which from my view is taking the focus away from the outstanding role that our people do. We all know the fire services in Victoria face challenges and reform is vitally important, but it's also crucial we get it right. That's why this has been so important. As part of the process, the Government also provided us a submission to the Committee which mentioned a number of briefings CFA conducted throughout this recent period. It's been brought to my attention that not all brigades listed had been briefed. Whilst we've been right around Victoria talking about the package, we haven't got to all brigades yet and the number provided to the Committee was just not right. This was due to a reporting area but nonetheless I do apologise to everybody for the incorrect figures. I've been requested, I have now requested updated figures from our ACOs and CFA will be providing those figures to the committee as soon as possible. Now, as this process continues, the committee will begin drafting up its report on the reforms which must be tabled in Parliament on the 8th of August. This report will hopefully take into account the views of everybody who took part and we can move forward in a mature and positive way. Finally, while I recognise the role everyone plays in CFA, I do want to specifically mention something to our volunteers. There's been a lot said over the last few weeks, but I want to make it really crystal clear. Our community relies on you, and I will call out anyone who says you do not do an exceptional job every day. Our job is to protect life and property. It's what we did yesterday, it's what we do today, and it's what we'll be doing tomorrow. Thanks all. Stay safe.